Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This week we are offering you a test, a test for beginners. Los And favoritos. <laughs> exactamente. And this test is to test your knowledge of saber and conocer. Entonces, hablamos de todo. Saber y conocer. En la segunda parte. So the idea of this test, 10 sentences that you've, all you've got to do, we're going to give you the sentence, we're going to leave a gap, you've got to decide, is it saber o conocer? And then you've got to conjugate the verb correctly for the right person of the sentence. Yeah, that's it. Perfecto. Nice and simple. Yeah, <laughs> nice and simple. We're going to give you the two conjugations of saber and conocer now, just so you see them, uh, to remind you, yeah? Okay. Cintia, ¿quieres darnos el, la conjugación de saber, por favor? En presente. En presente. Yo sé, tú sabes, él sabe, usted sabe. Nosotros sabemos, vosotros sabéis, ellos saben, ustedes saben. Very good. Sí. Honestly, professional, isn't she? And <laughs> almost like a almost like speaker. a native speaker. And then the conjugation for conocer. Yo conozco, tú conoces, él, usted, ella. Conoce, nosotros conocemos, vosotros conocéis, ellos, ellas, ustedes conocen. Ok. So there are the conjugations. We're not, this is not an explanation of saber and conocer. If you have any issues, if, if after you've done this test you think, need a refresher on that, then you can do one of two things. You can go to our website, go on in the search bar and just write in saber or conocer and then you'll get the lessons that we've done because we've done lots of lessons on it in the past, yeah? The other option you've got is to get the book <laughs> that we're taking this test from, which is Victor's Adventures in Spain, okay? And it's got a million things in it. <laughs> not just saber en conocer. Not just saber en conocer. <laughs> But you're going to learn about these verbs as well, okay? And this is available on Amazon. It's available in audio from the website, our website. And it's also available in Kindle from Amazon, okay? So, we begin. Cynthia, would you like to direct this? Venga. Eh, pregunta número uno. Margarita, the person, not the, the drink. <laughs> Margarita, hmm? Hablar francés. Mm. Okay, so we have a third person, Margarita. Mm -hmm. Which Margarita, well, Margarita is a daisy in yeah. English. Mm -hmm. It's a flower, Margarita, but it's also the drink, but it's a daisy. Okay, so. So that one's got to be saber, because mm -hmm. saber is knowing stuff, isn't it? Things, yeah? And so it would be third person, sabe. Uh -huh. Knowing stuff also for knowing how to do something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Muy bien. Número dos. Question. ¿Tú mm, a Julio Iglesias? I've seen lots of people mispronouncing Julio Iglesias. Inglesias. 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 Inglesi. <laughs> Inglesi. That's a good one. Julio Ingle Iglesias. Uh, Julio, well, July churches. July churches, yeah, well, beautiful. July yeah. churches. Parents had a sense of humor. <laughs> okay, so in this one, now this sentence is saying, do you know Julio Iglesias? And how do we know that it's saying, do you know? Because it's got the personal A, a. Mm -hmm. which is saying to this person. Mm -hmm. So, and, and it's a tú, so that would be Conoces a Julio Iglesias? Muy bien. And it's a good tip because we, we, don't ha we wouldn't have the verb saber with the personal E. But no. we have the verb conocer with the personal E to know people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, conoces. Tú conoces a Julio Iglesias? He could be your father. <laughs> we, just, we just have... Um, Um, memes in All Spain, time, yeah, because yeah. he's got so many children, and so and he could uh, also be your father. The most famous <laughs> meme of Julio Iglesias is when he says, 
Y lo sabes. Y lo sabes. <risa> y lo sabes. <risa> I could be y lo sabes. <risa> eh, número 3. Disculpe. Usted. Ok, so now we're going to use the usted person. Usted. Mm, ¿Dónde está la biblioteca? Ok, so we're, we're in usted. Now, knowing where the library is, is information. It's stuff. So it's got to be saber. And it's usted, so it's going to be sabe. Muy bien. ¿Usted sabe dónde está la biblioteca? Muy bien. Número cuatro. Nosotros... Mm, nadar. Muy bien. Ok, so to know how to, as Cynthia said, is the job of saber, to Muy know bien. how to do something. And it's nosotros, so it would be sabemos. Exactly, but we don't need to say how to in Spanish. We just mm. use the verb saber, and that includes how to. Mm. Yeah? We can, so, though. We can say we can. sabemos cómo nadar. Yes, we can, but you don't have to. No, That's no. what I said. You don't yeah. have to put cómo. Mm -hmm. So you can just say sabemos nadar. But in English it would be... We know how to. You couldn't say we know to swim. That's what. No, I mean. exactly. Um, número cinco. Ellos mm, al doctor Ramírez. Okay, so we've got another personal A in this. The, al. Al doctor. So, and it's ellos, so it's going to be conocer. And it's ellos, so it's going to be uh, third person plural, which is conocen. Muy bien. Ellos conocen al doctor Ramírez. They know him. Oh, we've got six and seven. We've got two in one. Okay. Nosotros. Mm, ¿Quién es el presidente de los Estados Unidos? Pero no lo mm, personalmente. Mm. We've got two here. So this sentence is saying we know who the president is, but we don't know him personally. So in English, we've got two knows, but in Spanish, two very different verbs. So the first one's going to be nosotros sabemos quién es, mm -hmm. pero no lo conocemos personalmente. Muy bien. Okay. Exacto. Número ocho. Ella... Es una estudiante nueva y no mm, bien la universidad. Ok, so this one is going to be conocer. Yeah? Muy bien. No conoce bien. Conocer is used for not just for um, knowing people, but places too knowing something intimately, having been there, yeah? Mm -hmm. So because she hasn't been a student for very long, she doesn't know, she doesn't know all, the, all the corridors of the university. Eso yeah? es. Muy bien. So no conoce. Número nueve. So it's a question, and it's a tú, person. Mm, la ciudad de Madrid. Mm. So this is tú, so second person. And it's going to be conocer again because it's a place. Yeah. Conoces la ciudad de Madrid. Muy bien. But that has a different meaning. Subtle different meaning. When you ask that to, to a Spanish person, they hear, have you been? Have you been to? Yes, have you been to? Have you been there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. To cono conocer a place is typically you've been there. Yeah, that's how you get to know it, by being there, yeah? It's like the way we would use it with a person. When you say, do you know Maria? It's because... You've, you've talked to her, you've, you know, mm -hmm. you've been with her. Yeah. Yeah, so it's the same with a, with a city or any place. If I say, conoces, and then a place, it, it means you've been, you know, you've got a relationship with that place. You've you, been there. You've met Madrid. <laughs> you've met Madrid, exactly. Yeah. Número 10. Eh, ella, mm, muy bien, todos los verbos nuevos. Okay, so here, these are things that she knows, yeah? And it's second, uh, third person, so it'd be ella sabe. And Cynthia, 
saberse mm -hmm. is to know by heart. Yeah? To know by heart. Yeah, there I would have said, ella se sabe. Mm. Se sabe, like by memory, by heart. Yeah. So yeah. when you when you make it into a into a reflexive, this is yeah. I've learned it by heart. Yeah. yeah. If you make it reflexive, um, for example, the lyrics of a song, or something you've studied, or I don't know, a map, anything that you memorize, um, we would use saberse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. So there you are. How did you do? How did you do? Did you get them all right? Did you mix up your verbs at all? So we've in our in our video cast range, which you can see easily by just going to the website and looking at the video cast all episodes. You can see all of the lessons that we've done. Just search for saber conocer if you need to to find out. Okay, and if you're not sure about conjugating the verbs, look for verb conjugations because it's it, everything's there and it explains it beautifully. Yeah. Muy bien. Eh. Perfecto. Explains it beautifully because we did. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, saying that so humble yeah in, in Spain they would say tú no tienes abuela no tienes abuela, abuela. <laughs> yeah <laughs> ok bueno sí. Cintia muchas gracias a ti y gracias a vosotros eso es y ahora nos vamos y nos vemos hasta luego adiós, adiós.